Another big story we are following for you tonight, more problems for Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price. Comments made by one of her employees at a rally now have supporters of the recall calling for that employee to lose his job. Crown 4's Dan Kerman reports. Those behind the recall of Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price are now calling for the firing of one of her employees. He needs to be fired. I've had enough of the harassment. He needs to be fired. Recall leader Brenda Grisham says at Saturday's kickoff rally, supporters of the recall, many of whom are family members of murder victims, were met by Price supporters. Among them, Desmond Jeffries, who's listed as the DA's Director of Recruitment and Retention. During that rally, Jeffries posted a Facebook Live video where he frequently refers to Grisham as gruesome and says the recall group's call for justice for victims is all a facade by a violent gang. I thought that was very disrespectful, and he represents the district attorney's office. So that tells you right there, they don't respect the victims at all. The Price recall campaign has now sent this letter to DA Price and the Board of Supervisors calling for Jeffries to be fired because the video, quote, contains remarks that are not only insensitive, but also profoundly disrespectful to those who have suffered unimaginable loss. Such behavior is completely unacceptable and undermines the trust and confidence that the public places in the district attorney's office. The DA's office is supposed to be taking care of our dead children. So why are they throwing it in our face? Angel Santos is a supporter of the recall effort and was at the rally Saturday. Her son was killed in 2019 and his case is still pending in Alameda County. For an employee of Pamela Price to basically taunt us with it in knowing um, what we're going through is not okay. Cronfor reached out to Jeffries and the DA but did not hear back. A spokesperson for Price's campaign had no comment on the letter. Dan Kerman, Cronfor News.